welcome to Decadence. Time to get spooky. I, Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband. For better, for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do his part. And then death did us part. Ooh. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Hold up. You have one new message. Hey, honey, I'm coming home from work soon. Had to stay late to finish. Can you set the table on the counter before you settle in? Well, it's not a new message if I've already played it. Anniversary. Oh, 1986. Off to a great start, because that doesn't look like a blood splatter or anything. Look at this. Look at this little den, the big old box TV. Box Danger Memory. A lot of stuff going on. It's Kermit. Kermit's in the house. <laughs> Kermit's the real monster here. Time actually going? Oh no, I was about to say. Ew, what is that? Like old school Chuck E. Cheese, I guess. How do I? How do I set yonder table for us? Wine bottle. A family gift from my mother on our wedding day puts a smile on my face every time. Well, I guess I'll look for other stuff I need in the house. Um, why does everything look gross and dingy, though? <clears throat> I mean, I get, I know it's scary, but... I like how everything is, like, actual, like, branded somehow. I'm not really sure how that works, but it makes it feel more real. Crouch. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be exploring yet or not. Okay, I guess I'm not. I'm just dumb. Am I dumb? She wants me to set the table. How does one begin to set the table? Oh! Now we're getting there. Four of eight. Okay, so now we need some silverware. Oh, I didn't grab her a knife. Hold on. There we go. I'm coming, honey. Like, wookie wookie. Coming home to me. Hi, sweetie. I can't seem to find my ring. Can you find it and place it next to my jewelry box? Again, honey? You keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. Forgot your ring and 
You're a little late for dinner on our anniversary. But I'll be honest, I forgot where she said it was already. I was too concerned with the fact she's leaving it. And in the bathroom. You don't leave that stuff in the bathroom because it gets wet. I missed what he said. It gets wet and then your your diamonds or your jewels or whatever will fall out because the stuff that's holding it together is not supposed to get wet. So where's your jewelry box? You would no wonder you lose your ring. You know, I'm not even mad anymore. You're right. You Yeah, I would I would not even see that. And I just... This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. Ew, why is it all gross though where it broke? There wasn't even anything in it. door? I thought this was like an apartment. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. That's not... Well... Good, honey, good news. We have more square footage in the house than we thought. Oh. I didn't know this was going to be, like, PT. Can I close on its own? I close it, so I can't close. <laughs> oh, it's not our anniversary yet. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Um, any arms sale saved? Don't care. Our mold problems getting worse, honey. Not everything seems the same, and I don't have to reset the table. That's the old newspaper. Honey, the mold problem is getting much worse. <laughs> we should really take care of this before it gets even oh, hey, worse. Steve. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. What mess? <sighs> Fine, give me a second. Better just do it. The mess I made. And what's really bugging me is there's random e stains on the floor and your furniture is not being taken care of. Um, where do I put the book? Oh, maybe the giant bookshelf. Oh, yeah, I guess I had a little bit more. Stephen King's Christine. That's the one about the car that won't die, isn't it? There we go. I think I can go for some fresh air. Honey, I'm so mad you asked me to clean up these books. I know we just got home, but I'm gonna get some fresh air because there's so much there's so much mold in here. What was that? Can you check it out? I need. A, I thought you. What was that? Where the ghost? Can you check it out? I'm being honest. Still might be. Uh, however. Where's your ring? Thorazine. I have no clue. That's how you help calm the voices in my head. 
only thing grounded and calm. Okay. Yes, my sweet wife, I will go check the extra square footage that we have. I hope she likes to see her skip. Better hide in the closet before she gets home. Okay, so it is going day by day till it gets to our anniversary. Uh, you are not supposed to be home yet. I have to go hide your present. This is because she keeps leaving the door closed. She's taking a shower. Can't scare me if I don't look. Excuse me? I need to take my pills now, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anita, are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Come out here and talk to me. Um, okay, so we do, in fact, live in Neighbors are a little creepy. How can you get on to me about leaving books? Well, I am making a mess. You know what? I take back everything I said. The table's not even straightened up. Everything keeps moving probably does think it's me because it probably is me. I'm the ghost of the house. I keep moving it. Uh, don't worry about the mess, my sweet, sweet darling. I'll uh, put a wet floor sign down. Slide in like a slug. It's finished talking. Open the damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. What the hell? I swear, he was here. I, I heard her. Hmm. Love it. Dear Dean, I hope this letter finds you well. We are writing to address a matter that has come to our attention regarding your recent absence from work for six days without prior notice or explanation. As an integral part of our team, your presence and commitment to your responsibilities are crucial for the smooth operation of this company. We kindly request that you provide us with an explanation for your absence during this specific period. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore potential ways to address any challenges you might be facing. To avoid any negative impact on your professional development and overall functioning of our team, we kindly request you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with your manager, Juliet, at your earliest convenience to discuss your recent absence and any underlying concerns you may have. Thank you for your attention, blah, blah, blah. Arthur. Well, Arthur, I'm having a little bit of a ghost problem. A mold ghost who keeps quite frequently expanding our square footage uh, and drinking all of my beer and throwing my Vanity Fair on the ground, making my wife very upset. I don't even like. Oh, sweet wife. She's already ready and waiting. 
We took this picture when we first moved here brings back many memories a new beginning. And it seems we already hello. I'm the ghost confirmed. I just fly around the house. <laughs> Hold on, did she find her present, though? If she would just look for her present, it'll all be fine. But you don't have arms. Are you my wife? Give you a little smooch. Ah, it's all right. Don't cry. Our anniversary's done. Dear Dean Coleman, I hope this letter finds you and your family in good health during this challenging time. Please accept my sympathies and know that your thoughts and my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family as you navigate through this difficult period. As your attorney, it is my responsibility to assist and guide you through the legal matters pertaining to your... I understand this is distressing and emotionally overwhelming time, and I'm here to provide you with the necessary information and support to ensure a smooth and efficient resolution. In the upcoming days, I kindly request you to schedule a meeting at your earliest convenience. This meeting will allow us to discuss the necessary legal procedures, including probate, asset distribution, and any other legal matters associated with your wife's estate. During the meeting, I will provide you with a comprehensive overview of the steps involved and answer any questions or concerns you may have. Sincerely, Rebecca Smith, Brooklyn Cole Law Firm. So, oh. Boss. Old. John. No wonder you're getting a divorce. It's always a pigsty in here. You would clean your cups, which who has this many cups? I'm haunting the house. Maybe be careful, it's it's haunting time. Hold on. are in this huge mansion I live in. All the doors are always locked. Oh, don't make me turn around. Now, Anita. <laughs> Not now. Let me take a shower first before we smooch. She already lit the candles. <laughs> See, I t easy. Easy money. That's all you gotta do. That tape seems to have been tampered with. She lit the candles, she put out rose petals, uh, and she's playing the piano for me already for our sweet, sweet anniversary. We're renewing our vows, honey. Could have at least cleaned up the box. And she learned a new telepathic well, beautiful as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Anita. I can't let you go. Did you kill her? Took her forever. Even death could do us part. I don't know if that's sad or not.
Did I kill her? Did she kill herself? Did she just divorce and leave? I don't know, but I enjoyed it. I enjoy little narrative walkthroughs like that, so uh, anything PT style usually is a lot scarier to me, but that one wasn't bad. Like, I liked that one quite a bit, so. Poor boy. But yeah, if you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed it, go ahead and if you like and subscribe, that'll help me out quite a bit and be able to do more fun little videos like this. So I will see you in the next video.